Okay, welcome to another test drive. Um, today we're looking at Quantum Conundrum. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologise for the lack of content that I've put out lately. Uh, it's been a busy few weeks for me, so I haven't really uh, had a chance to put stuff up. Anyway, uh, let's get this started. So basically, Once this. Upon a time. Oh, okay. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he only for these things. And so, after the time, I got to the fact that he was and dropped the average the average was a few people had visited one of the Each time, we were ran into the murder, caused the effect of the entered the people found and saw evil, which was the invention of the forces of nature. What you really need to do is make this time, it's not this. Okay, so, uh, yeah, basically, this is, um, well, it it's got involvement from Kim Swift, who was uh, one of the original dev team for Portal. So uh, I'm hoping for a bit of a kind of portally vibe to this game. Mm, not sure about this mouse sensitivity. Founded machine. What was that? Oh, good. That uh, uh, should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Where on earth did I put that? Hmm. Oh yes, I'd forgotten. You're not particularly tall, are you? You should be able to use your luggage to give you an extra boost. Oh, okay. Where am I? jump into? Ah, right, okay. Mm. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Whoa. Wait. What just happened? I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and... Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Ah, it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There, ha, huh. much better. Uh-huh. Now, what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Okay. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector and then... I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. This one? Uh... Ah, there we go. Right. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box hey. with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece That's of my latest collection. invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> if you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It so seems just as if the started. breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. Uh, okay. 
There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few uh, adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Oh, these are the inventions from the intro. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. This is Give me such some an puzzles. early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is 10 times lighter than normal. Awesome. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Okay, it's very portal with the way There's it's. There's that um, lovely bird again. Sometimes. Thingy, uh, I call it Desmond. Calling things strange names. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Okay, so, uh... You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. I wonder when I'm gonna be able to control it myself. Uh, which wall? Can't see it. Ah, uh -huh. the receptacle is up on the second floor alcove. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing uh, you to go. now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Whoa. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Okay, so basically while things are fluffy I can basically pick up everything because it's a lot lighter. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, that works. I imagine uh, it can these get are quite challenging when you have to combine them all. These are of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. Um. Okay, what did that do? Uh. Fluffy. Throw that over there. And there we go. Sorted. I keep pressing E to interact with stuff. Okay, so then how do I get across? Pretty sure I could have done that without breaking the glass. Hmm, maybe that is the plan. Ah! Just letting you know that you reset the glass. 
Thank you. There we go. Oh. Oops. I keep getting the buttons mixed up. Okay, so pick this up. I can manually take it down there so that the glass doesn't break. There we go. And now I can make it across to the door. Please tell me that glass didn't just break. No, okay. Don't know where the smashing sound came from. Um. Right, I obviously need to... Whoa, hello. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Where did he go? I'm so confused right now. You see, the moment I turn into Fluffy, that switch raises up. But if I'm to carry something through this door... That didn't work. Ugh. Wait a minute. Duh. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, there's Ike again. In case you're wondering, you turned on a fan. Please say that you don't need to explain that to you. Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Standard issue conveyor belts. Sometimes laziness should be indulged. Okay, that is seriously annoying. So anyway, I think uh, we're out of time, so I'll leave it there. That's Quantum Conundrum, available now for PC and I think Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. See you next time.